All right, so good morning. So today it's Sunday. I'm here uh, in Pinjarra at the Pinjarra Massacre site. Um, as you can see behind me, there's a big boulder. Um, you know, if you drive past, you can you can notice it. But it's kind of tucked away, really. But it's on McClarty Road um, in Pinjarra. And Pinjarra is about a 10-minute drive from Mandra. Mandra is about an I don't know, hour drive from Perth. Um, yes, yeah, so at this site, they've done like a big memorial, as you can see. And they got the community involved. Not sure when they got that put there, but yeah, there's a plaque on that um, that big boulder which Alcoa donated. And um, there was some controversy around a local shire, um, you know, and the, the guy that was previously, you know, leading the local shire, they didn't agree with um, it being called a massacre. They wanted to call it um, a battle. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't a battle. It was a massacre. But anyway, we're not going to yeah focus on that. Uh, yeah, so Governor James Sterling came through in 1834 one morning um, to meet the resistance. So the resistance, the resistance was uh, young women and children, uh, yeah, just doing their own thing, living peacefully. So they come through one morning, early in the morning, and they ambush these people. Um, women and children were killed um, by these big, brave 25 soldiers. Um, a police officer, I forgot his name, but he was actually injured and he died from that injury in, when they ambushed these people. So this police officer, apparently a spear got chucked at him, from what I've like, been told, and he f fell off a horse. So they were defending, you know, these, these young boys and, and women and children were, were defending themselves and apparently this police officer was the first police officer to get an award, you know, dying on duty. So he, he, yeah, he died on duty. Um, so he was the first one, yeah, from what I know. I could be wrong, but that's from what I can remember. So this guy got an award for dying, and he only died by injury or falling off a fucking horse. Um, but yeah, they came and ambushed the resistance that they said was here, and like I said, the resistance was just women and children. Um, and they actually found remains, you know, of women and children in the river. Um, yeah, so they ambushed them. The river has two sides. There was people on the other side waiting and they pushed them into the water and they just picked them off. So you could just imagine the chaos in the morning, um, getting woken up to that. Yeah, it's fucked. But anyway, it's not, this is not about negative. I just want people to come and visit this place. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you some footage around this actual little memorial thing. So I don't know if you can see it, but that's it there. Cool, so I'll put some pictures up as well at the end of the video, but I'm just gonna take a walk down now to the river and give you guys a look. All right, so this video is only short, but I hope that I've done it justice. And again, I'm only just learning. So this stuff that I've learned, I've learned through um, locals and I've learned through my job. Um, but just before I go, I just wanted to say, imagine just being in bed, being asleep, being with your children, holding your babies in your arms, you know, your kids laying next to you and all of a sudden 25 people come and invade your, your space, your home and they, and they start killing you for just existing. They kill you just for existing. They kill you, they, they wanna kill you. They have, they have a passion to kill you. They want to kill you for nothing, just for being alive. They wanna kill you and your children just for being alive. They wanna kill your kids just for being alive. Like what, what, it, yeah. So just, yeah, imagine if that happened in this day and age, what would happen? What would happen? So behind me in this river, there were my people, my Aboriginal people. I'm not from here, I'm not a local, but there were Aboriginal people in this water right behind me, in that water, fighting for their lives. Young children had to watch their parents get killed and their parents had to watch their children get killed. Imagine if that was the last thing you saw was your fucking kids getting killed. I've got five kids and I've got a, a missus and to me, that's fucking hell. That's hell. That's hell. And imagine being the father if you're out hunting and gathering and, and you know doing your thing and then you come home and you find that. In this same water, 
So even though it's 2021 now, in that same water, that water there, some people say get over it and all this type of other stuff. It's not about blaming, it's not about that, but it's not, it's just about recognizing. I just want to share this with people. Even though I'm not a local, I just want to share this. Because it needs to be known, and people that live in Mandra and Penny don't even know this place, let alone Perth. So Gov Governor James Sterling, 25 soldiers and policemen, 1834. Massacre. Women and children, big brave men. But again, this is just, yeah, I just want to just share this place. Yeah. And just have a listen. But yeah, so I just want to pay my respects to all Aboriginal people, especially the Binjarab mob. Um, like I said, I'm not a local, but Mandra's my home and I pay respect to all my people all over Australia. Um, to everybody, but especially my Aboriginal people. We've got to stand together. Um, we're stronger if we stand together, you know? But yeah, so hopefully I can get this edited because I've been through a whole bunch of hell trying to, it actually got deleted twice, I'm an idiot, but. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy, eh? And hopefully I'll get better. But yeah, I pay my respects to everybody, everybody that passed away here on that day in 1834. And anybody that was in that water, I pay my respects to you. And I said my love and my prayers with you. Get a little bit upset here, but... Nah, but yeah, I pay my respect to you. To all my people. All right, hopefully the footage came out good. Hopefully people like it. Hopefully people get a better understanding. Um, I'm no media expert, so if it comes out a little bit rough, I'm not Steven fucking Spielberg. Um, I thought I thought I'd put this proper Pinny um, massacre site or Pinjara massacre site video up because I've seen all the attention that it got on TikTok, which is good. I mean, you got a few people that didn't like it. To the people that don't like it, well, to be honest, you know, fuck you. <laughs> all right, cheers, guys, for watching. Um, yeah. Hopefully, I've done the site justice and. Um, I know it's a little raw, but again, I'm only new to this, but this video is just about yeah, bringing awareness and educating people. Um, it's a really beautiful site down there um, in Pinjarra. So if you've got time, suss it out. Um, and if you don't, just give it a Google, but cheers for watching, eh? Thanks.